G'day, I'm BLX Ed and welcome back to UFO Afterlight. Now, continuing on from where we were before, we have a pretty severe problem in regards to people's health. Most of our fighters are thank you, Inge. Most of our fighters are quite badly injured. Uh, who else were we using? Twins are yeah, twins aren't too bad. I'm actually managed to keep them back because of their good accuracy from range. But it's our first couple here who are thankfully recovering reasonably quickly. Now I am building another ward uh, so I can hopefully heal people up a bit quicker. Uh, actually, I think I have forgotten to send the scientific bay out. Hmm. The improved vehicle engine, I definitely want to get that shortly. Of the scientists but what I'm planning on doing after that will actually be to work on terraformation, which is a planetology one. So let's have a look at our people here. You do major earth technology, you can stay there. You... Oh, there is no major planetology, is there? Oh, well, in that case, let's have you back training for medicine again. We won't need you until we finish our current technology. We can attack new territory. Yep, that's our old tech territory. We will come for that later, once we've recovered a little bit. I'd also like to see how production is going very well. I'm thinking about throwing in more ammo for everybody. Because quite frankly, we just burned to that through that far too quickly. Uh, yep, I might even give you some more cartridges. Okay, if we just keep pumping out this ammo, that'll be good. Now what I can do is even train these people. And now Weaponsmith I think is the one I would train them in. Weapons, accessories and ammunition. I'm going to train you as a Weaponsmith. Suit handling would be good as well. Hmm. I'm definitely going to start you on Weaponsmith. Okay, it will slow down our production slightly, but when she comes back, things will be going a lot quicker. Discovered and explored new territory. The aliens have occupied neighboring territory. New technology had... Okay, what have we got? We have improved vehicle engine. Scientists that is very good news. Now hopefully our people will be going a hell of a lot quicker. Hmm. Gonna need to get biology up as well. Terraformation is what we're working on here. Yeah, we've got so much we need to do. Hopefully, with these two labs now, territory. we're gonna be in a much better position. Aha, so I see what's happened here. The um Beastmen have actually taken territory off these guys. They possibly have been pushed into just this strip here. So if I was to turn on them, I would be able to actually make some good use out of that land. I don't think they would be very strong. New technology has been... What have we got here? Probably the nature forces. Some of the scientists... Eh, nothing spectacular here. But now I know what they are at least. I don't know if it actually gives me anything. Doesn't appear to have unlocked anything, no. Uh, combat detection. That might be useful. What I would actually like to do is get you working on something that's a little bit more important. Yeah, that'll allow me to begin interrogate or doing autopsies on the, uh, the dead bodies. These other ones are a bit of a lower priority at the moment. And yeah, definitely time to start working on terraformation. Who has finished training? Probably one of our scientists. Let's have a look. Some people may have more than one class. Finished training. Your building. Forgotten who I was training now. Hmm. Let's go through them individually. 
Mark Wells, not to you. Could have been Rita, no, I don't think it was her. Well, it must have been one of these people. What does Mark Wells actually do? He is a science military. Ah, oh, it must have been him. Yep, he's finished. Of course. And I'll stick you in that lab there. Who else would have finished? You may assign people to specific. Would have been another scientist, so. Well, the technical bay is not out. Oh. Um. What is Rita actually doing at the moment? Nothing. She's not healing, so in that case I'll put her in the backup lab as well. She can still go out on the missions. But, the time being, actually while I'm doing it, I might as well stick Benat into the workshop. He will be able to help out there a little bit. Yeah, I think we've got a much more optimal Our territory setup. Ah. So I can't stop these guys. Can attack new territory. I think we are prepared to handle this. It's a metal mine, not something I particularly want to lose just yet. Well, let's drop ourselves a save just in case it crashes. Although I think the crashing issue has been fixed on my end now that my CPU has been fully repaired. But you never know, this is an old game and I would hate for something to go wrong. A member of your team has finished. Okay, who's finished training? Probably you, in which case you can jump back in that lab. People may have more than one class. Which is good because it's a planetology and we do like our planetology people. Well, that was seriously boring. I killed the worm and the spider, or actually this, that spider and that worm early on. I spent about 15 minutes just waiting around and finally had to track down a single worm hiding somewhere on the map. It took me about, I don't know, another 10 minutes on top speed. So that was seriously boring and I will edit that out. But we have managed to hold off the attack. A member of your team. As minor as it was, who finished training this time? Probably Jean Lawrence. Excellent. She has herself some minor Earth technology. I'm also going to stick you on major Earth technology for the time being, because I would like that to be leveled up. It'll really help our research later on. Um. Not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, actually, you're helping with your biology training. That's good. She's actually helping out. We have been approached. Diplomatic proposal. With raw materials and equipment should land on Mars now. Oh, that's great. A ship from Earth has just landed at the spaceport. It is full of raw materials and equipment. I've looked at the warp weapons. They look great. Do we have some blueprints to produce them? I am afraid it won't be viable to produce those kinds of weapons here. I'm happy about these raw materials. They will last us for quite a long time. Well, that is very good to know. Now, those raw materials, they will not last forever. That's something to know. Uh, there we got some noble metals from Earth. And... We hold some raw materials. Oh, is that it? I thought we got some more stuff. I thought we got, like, uh... Guess not. Oh well, we got some noble metals from Earth anyway. That's bumped up our storage a little bit, unless it's going to kick in later, more of it. But that will keep us going. Now the thing to note that we have got is... Uh, where is it? It'll probably be... Some of the weapons may... There we go. We have ourselves a warp cannon. Now that is very nice. These are special... There you go, can only shoot six times during a mission and then it has to be recharged. 
so it has unlimited recharges, but we can only use it a couple of times in a mission, and it does require heavy equipment training. So let's have a look at our people. I believe Diego Ramirez has minor heavy equipment. What does major heavy equipment do? Oh, you can just carry more stuff. Alrighty, so what we're actually going to do here is equip Diego with one of these babies. Actually, if I give him two of them, he should be able to fire 12 times in one mission. I've never actually done this before. We'll test it out. It should work. I can't see why it wouldn't. And that will make him very powerful. Okay, actually, let's go test that out. I wonder if we can make it in time. Whoa, we just beat the uh, the sunset there. Let's go. What are we looking for? We're trying to pick up that thing down there. And let's look at a little bit green. I don't know where this green reed's coming from. But for some reason, there's a little bit of greenery out here. That's nice to Ready. see. I'm right. afraid I can't Here do we that. go. Getting out. Crazy or what? Yeah, right, yeah, I'm going. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Enemy somewhere here. I'm actually gonna get Diego. Orders. You're gonna come over here. Heading out. See if you can find one of those big guys. And you Rita, I need you to level up. And let's Ladies. get Banat. Yeah. Unlike if I can get him in there. I'm in position, sir. I'll get What's you. next? Hmm. Oh, that's a funny looking thing. Ready? See if you can hit it, it from here. Get it? Am, can sir. you get it? Uh, maybe not. Nothing to do. I'm here. Bang, what? Bang. Do I have to get them all? Best. Visual contact. Actually, you're gonna stop shooting that little thing. You're going to I'll get him. Take take aim at the big fella. You stink bastard. Yeah, good hit. Uh, how about we send Samantha over here to take that one out? Beautiful. That's I think he used up four shots. Underway. What to do now? Yeah, definitely don't want to accidentally hit one of my own people. Aha, there we go. Alrighty, you take out Kick ass. that big fella. I think we've got one shot left. Target down, sir. Ready, sir. Bang, bang. What's next? Ah, you missed. Orders? I know we might have one more left. Kill that scum. I'm here. Yeah, I'll yeah, I see him. Good shot. What's next? Okay. What to do now? Reloaded. Keep firing. Get him. Ready, sir. Die, alien scum. I go for it. <laughs> Uh, Re Reet is a bit of a character. Okay, that's What's a couple next? of those down. He's doing well. Kick ass. No, nope, actually, I don't want you to aim those. I want you to, to shoot to that. Now? Go to hell, that. What should I do? You're the boss. So ourselves a new Set artifact. Getting bored. Done. Mission finished. That was surprisingly easy. And we have ourselves a levitating drone wreck. We'll take one of those back for study as well. A new building has been. What have we built at the base? A dome, which means we're now working on the lab. Oh, the lab's been done. Now able to construct a new type of building. Okay, so I think things are actually going quite well. How far off is Jean? Yep, she's holding up well. Let's we'll just keep motoring ahead. Team is completely healed. A member of your team. Someone else has finished training. Probably Mary or Sakwe. I'll put her into the workshop. Some people may have more than one. Looks 
Looks like I can't give her a higher level of weaponsmith. Bennett, I would like you to... Oh, homing missiles, that's interesting. In that case, I might give you heavy equipment as well. And while I'm here, I'll level these people up. You can get more strength. Uh, what gives you mechanical? Strength gives you mechanical. Willpower. I'll give you strength then. We can attack new territory. We have been approached with a dip. You want some rifles in exchange for one level of crystals. You know what? I'm actually going to accept that. It will mean we don't have enough rifles anymore. But if I go back to production, I can now. Some items cannot be. Let's just throw in three levels of that. So we're replacing what we had. Does mean that we are. Yeah, we're short of rifles right now. A member of your team is completely healed. New technology. What have we got? We have alien biology. Some of the scientists. Which makes me wonder if. Well, first of all, let's focus on these guys. Let's give them. Oh, I've also done terraformation. It must have been done at the same time. That's very good to know. Okay, now that terraformation has been started, we're in a good position. In which case, Ugi, or Ogi, you can get... Hmm... I'd actually like you to figure out about the ancient Martian civilization. See if we can figure out any information about that. A member of your team is completely healed. Let's stop. There we go. In the meantime, what we can do now start sending our science team out to begin building terraformation stations. Here we go, let's get a couple of them done and see how that goes. Oh, come on, beast men. Squad not ready, of course we haven't got the ammo. Is there anything in there? Just an excavation site? I think we can leave that for the time a being. Of your team is completely healed. A new item has been Brilliant, actually we have the rifles. So let's go. Oh, I don't need that many. We're fully equipped. We can attack new territory. We can attack new Stop. territory. Okay. I think we are going to move in and attack this one here. See if we can take out those beastmen. Uh, let's drop another save just in case. And off we go. I will edit this one out. There is someone who could increase. Uh, actually, just before we got to the mission, someone finished training, and that person is Gene Lawrence who's now a major Earth Technology Specialist. So you can go down in that lab there and we'll continue off into the battle. And that was a reasonably uninteresting mission. I'm surprised Samantha got all the kills. I thought my rifleman would have got them, but she must have finished them off. And yeah, we're not overweight. We'll take it all back. New technology. What have we got over here? We have detection devices. They don't really do much, but it's good to get through them. Some we may the unlock something else in the future. Uh, military operations, I think, will give us access to hand grenades and whatnot, which may be useful. And earth technologies and whatnot should give us um, shotguns and sniper rifles. So I'm thinking that I might actually go for that instead. And optics will be useful as well. A member of your team. Who finished training this time? I forgot who I was training. Probably Benat with heavy equipment. So major heavy equipment we don't need, but technical I will give you.
Now what does Surveyor do? Dismantle mines. Hmm. Give you minor training, uh, minor driving for now. Meanwhile, you can continue leveling up your mechanical skill. You're actually proving to be quite helpful. And the twins, I will get them. Actually, I'm going to get their intuition up a bit. I should help them when they're doing snapshots. And if I keep getting your strength up, you'll be a much better medic. A member of your team is completely healed. A member of your team is completely healed. That's those two. A member uh, of your team is completely healed. Thank you, thank you. That's those uh, medical bays paying off now. How is that going? A new station. There we go. Built on the planet. New technology. Getting a couple of our uh, terraforming stations put up on the planet. Now we have here ancient Some Martian civilization. Seems odd they left it. Uh, left intentionally and did not suddenly become extinct. We don't know where the Martians have gone. Uh, but they appear to be very good with magnetism and plasma. So if we follow into this further, we may actually find something interesting. How about you browse through the Martian archives? Hmm, could be interesting. We'll see what that unlocks anyway. We can occupy new territory. Oh, that's another thing I was going to check was the base. I can build a pathology department. If we get more raw materials, we'll be able to construct a new building. Yep, well we can build a pathology department now, Neil, and you can stay down there and keep building that. New technology. Brilliant technology is coming in very quickly. Now advanced earth technologies. Pushin scientific Some files. Lightweight but highly protective armor. That could be interesting. Now the problem with lightweight protective armor is that we have to put it into a spacesuit form because we can't breathe the atmosphere. So let's continue on. Advanced firearms has unlocked. So let's some of the scientists are un consider putting in advanced firearms for you guys. Hmm, I think that's the way to go. Reticular spaceships landed in our territory and immediately started military operations. They appear to have nothing in common with the reticulans we know from Earth. They did not make any attempt to contact us, and their technologies are somewhat different. Over the last few days, we have observed several bodies in outer space, but they are mostly traveling towards Earth. We must keep on trying to communicate. But in the meantime, we have to defend ourselves. We have contacted the new reticulan arrivals at last. Until now, we could do nothing but fight them. Their main intention is to punish those members of their race who refuse to accept the decision of their civilization and tried to destroy Earth. They themselves have had nothing to do with this activity and they regret the thwarted development of civilization. If we want an alliance with them, we must break any peace agreement with the rebels. If one exists, that is. Peace is better than war. What are their other goals? Do they look only for ceasefire, or are they willing to accept cooperation on a larger scale? If we desire, they are ready to forge an alliance with humans. However, they reserve the right to postpone the decision, as they have no experience with our civilization, and they are not sure if we are trustworthy that is atrocious voice their acting there destroyed our home planet and they doubt our trustworthiness all right a ceasefire is the most important thing at this moment to leave our hands free for the war against the beastmen they have also known the beastmen's aggression so they will enjoy the peace as well all righty well we have ourselves an interesting development here 
we have a new bunch of reticulans who've landed. So we have these other reticulans and a new bunch, and we don't know much about them, but it appears from what they've explained that these guys are actually the ones who attacked Earth in the original game and helped us set up the thing over here. Whereas these guys are appear to be a separate group, completely uninvolved. Now, we're currently allied with these guys, but it turns out they're the bastards who've killed millions of humans and basically destroyed the majority of the Earth and exiled us to Mars. So me, we may well want to turn against them here because we won't be able to make an alliance with these guys until we've attacked these reticulans. So they have their base over here. Mount Olympus. And it doesn't appear to be too much that they've taken, although... Oh, it's our land. Hmm, oh, interesting, interesting. Oh, looks these guys have taken the land back. They're fighting a bit against the beastmen. But we may well actually want to attack these guys and take land from them. Now that is something that I think we're going to have to do in another episode. Ooh, the expedition is attacking us. Uh, it's a problem. So they've landed and we're immediately fighting them. Hmm, difficult. Lots of things popping up. It's gone from a very simple layout in the last couple of episodes. Things have gone very bad very quickly. The shit has hit the fan. But anyway, I have been BLX Ed. This has been UFO Afterlight. I'm going to need to think about this and I will see you next episode where we try and decide what's going to happen to the future of humanity on Mars. And as always, take care.